And that is uh, a question for you, Inez, of um, did you hesitate uh, in answering uh, the call of source, so to be speak, or the call of your purpose, so to speak? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, I'll be honest. At times, yes. Um, it, it fluctuates. It's not always easy because... You know, when you when you hear your calling um, and you follow through on it, there's obviously the human part of me that at times said, is this real? Am I imagining things? Am I going crazy? Do I really want to do this? Do I really want the responsibility? So these are all human <clears throat> emotions and human experiences. And... So yes, there was hesitancy. I mean, I when I actually started doing Akashic Record readings and um, intuitive readings and all of these things, I found a lot of joy within them. I really did. And that helped a tremendous amount. But at the same time, this self-doubt and self-questioning, it does, you know, it does impact you. And I remember very vividly how a number of years ago, I um, I wasn't on this path at all. And for some reason or another, I decided to have a reading, first time in my life ever, with a medicine woman. And I spoke to her on the phone and she said to me, make the agreement today that you will trust, that you will trust what you hear no matter what that you will trust, that you will trust, that you will trust. And, you know, I was on the phone with her and I, I thought, oh my gosh, I mean, you know, for a moment there was the whole, have I landed in a loony bin <laughs> part. But then I, then I you know, she had given me a lot of insight as to what would happen over the course of the next few months. And as these things started coming up, I said, oh, wow said this was going to happen and it is happening and within that I found more of my own comfort zone but so hesitancy is maybe the wrong word sometimes I think it is more of a self-doubt that we have and I feel that it is you know imperative that when we do have that self-doubt that we acknowledge it and say yes I see you However, then tune into ourselves and really that's the biggest key in, in all of this work is to stop the mind chatter. And as you stop the mind chatter, it becomes much easier to hear your inner voice. And when you hear your inner voice, it is much easier to follow through on whatever your calling is. And as you begin to follow through on your calling, you will find lots of, or you will experience lots of synchronicities along the way. And people come all of a sudden out of nowhere to help you. And all of these things happen, and they make you realize that, yes, you are on the right track. And the more you trust yourself, and the more you trust what is coming to you, the more at ease you are about your calling. 